Today in our 2019 Chevrolet Equinox, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Drawtight Class 2 Custom Fit Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number 36642. The nice thing about this one, compared to a lot of the other ones on the market, is the fact that our cross tube is going to be hidden behind the bumper here, and all we're going to see is that receiver tube sticking out. Now the big benefit of that is not only does it look better, but it is going to provide us a little bit better ground clearance because we're not going to have this tube sticking down below the bumper going all the way from side to side. Now our hitch is going to provide us an inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter receiver tube opening, which is going to be great for bike racks and some smaller cargo carriers. Now the way we're going to mount any of our accessories to the hitch pin hole here on the side. It is going to accept a standard half inch pin and clip. And while these aren't included in the kit, you can pick them up here at eTrailer.com. Now, as far as the safety chain connection points go, it's gonna be a loop style, welded to the bottom of the receiver tube. And as you can see, we're not gonna to have too much trouble getting most size hooks on or off, and we'll have plenty of room. As far as weight capacity goes, our hitch is gonna have a 350 pound tongue weight, which is the maximum downward pressure at the receiver tube, along with a 3,500 pound gross trailer weight rating, which is the amount it can pull, including the trailer and everything we have loaded on it. Now with all those numbers in mind, you should always double check your Equinox's owner's manual and never exceed the manufacturer's recommended weight. I'd like to give it a few measurements and that's gonna help you whenever you're looking at accessories for your hitch, like a bike rack or a cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper, it's gonna be right about five and a half inches. That measurement's gonna come in handy when you're looking at folding accessories to make sure you have enough clearance so it doesn't come in contact with the rear bumper. From the ground to the inside top edge of the receiver tube opening, it's gonna be right about 10 and a half inches. At that height, I would definitely recommend a cargo carrier or a bike rack that has a raised shank. That way we get a little bit more ground clearance. So now that we've seen what the hitch looks like and gone over some of the features, let's show you how to get it installed. To begin our installation, we're gonna to come to the back of our Equinox and at the very bottom of the bumper, we're gonna have these two bolts, one on each side that we're gonna to have to remove. I'm gonna use a T15 Torx bit to pull those out. Now on each side of our muffler, we're gonna have these hangers that are attached to the bumper core here. There's gonna be two bolts going through, so we're gonna to wanna to grab a 15 millimeter socket and take those bolts out. And we're going to have those two bolts on each side of our muffler. Now before we fully lower it, you want to make sure that you have a support strap so our exhaust doesn't come down too far. So let's find a sturdy spot that we can hook our strap to and that'll prevent the exhaust from coming down too far. Now right behind the muffler, we're gonna have this rubber isolator that's really close to the rear axle. I'm gonna go ahead and spray down that rubber isolator with some spray lubricant. I'm gonna take a pry bar, and our main goal here is to pry that rubber isolator off so the exhaust will hang down. Now we can move back to the muffler where we took those bolts out. Now that bracket that's attached to the muffler where those bolts are going through, we're gonna to wanna to lift up slightly on the muffler and then slide that bracket out. Now we're gonna to wanna to do that on both sides, but you wanna be careful because the exhaust is gonna to start to lower down at that point. Now we can either slide that bracket off of the hanger here, or we can just pull the fascia out slightly to where we can get the hanger to the outside of the fascia. And you wanna do that for both sides. Now we'll have plenty of room to get our hitch in place and reach the top of the frame here. Now on the passenger side only, we're gonna have this wire that's attached to the bottom of the frame. We're gonna to wanna to remove that push pin so it'll be out of the way when we go to put our hitch in. Take a flathead screwdriver or a trim panel tool and we'll just pry it out of the frame and push it aside for right now. Now on each side of the frame we're going to have several holes in the bottom. 
We're gonna have one large hole. So that's gonna be our access hole to get our hardware in. And then on each side of that, we'll have a few more round circular holes. The three small ones are gonna be our attachment points. Now in order to get our hardware in place, I'm gonna take our pull wire. I'm gonna take the coiled end. I'm gonna put a bend in it. I'm gonna feed the coiled end into the frame of our attachment point. And I'm gonna push it towards the access hole to where it comes out. Now it's important that you leave both ends sticking out of the frame. You don't wanna pull it all the way through. Then we're gonna take one of our square hole spacer blocks. We'll slide it over our pull wire. And then we're gonna take a carriage bolt and thread it onto the end of the wire. Then you wanna feed each piece into the frame one at a time. And we'll pull on our pull wire until the bolt drops down through. Now we're gonna repeat that for all the other mounting locations on both sides of the frame. Now with the next set of hands, we're gonna lift our hitch. We're gonna go over the exhaust. And get the hitch inside the fascia. Then we'll take our pull wires and we're gonna feed them through the hitch. And on the back here, we're gonna have two holes. You're gonna to wanna to put your pull wire through the large oval hole. Once we have them all through, we'll lift the hitch up. Then we're gonna take a conical tooth washer. You wanna make sure the teeth are facing up towards the hitch and a hex nut. And you wanna make sure you get at least one on each side so the hitch will support itself. Next, we'll come back with the 11 16 socket and tighten up all of our hardware. Then you'll wanna make sure to come back with a torque wrench and we're gonna to torque all of our hardware down and you'll find that specification in your instructions. So we can put our exhaust back up. And again, we're gonna to wanna to pull out on the bottom of the fascia Get one side in, just get it above the fascia, and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Slide our exhaust hanger back in place, and then we can put the hardware back in at the brackets. Just wanna make sure that little tab on here lines up with the bracket so that we can get our bolts back in place. Finally, we can put the hardware back at the bottom of the fascia. Finally, we'll remove the support strap for the exhaust. That'll finish up your look at the DrawTite Class 2 Custom Fit Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number 36642 on our 2019 Chevrolet Equinox.